Newmarket, the home of British racing and the residence to over 3,000 racehorses. Now we've gained exclusive access to HQ and all their stables to find out exactly what goes on behind the scenes and learn some more about racing itself. As you can see from her now, a bit sweaty, she's just coming from exercise, but there's no muscle wastage on her. With John Burkett, wife of trainer Julia Fielden, at the helm for this Access All Areas tour, there really is no better way to learn about how the horse racing wheel continues to turn. Kicking off at 9am, the first part of the tour takes us to the famous Newmarket Gallops, where local trainers have the advantage of 64 miles of gallops to exercise their strings, including Jill Duffield, whose Arabian team walked back after cantering on the Long Hill Gallop, while Mark Prescott's contingent warmed down having worked at the famous Warren Hill. Just once a day they go out? Once a day, yeah. Then they're out for about an hour and a half. Almost like a spaghetti junction, but with bridle paths everywhere, Newmarket is proper horse country. There's no doubt in who gets priority here. Continuing our journey around HQ, the next stop is a visit to the British Racing School on Snailwell Road. Inside the Education Centre, where the likes of Paul Hannigan have featured among the students, we are shown around the training yard, where wannabe jockeys are given a leg up ahead of second lot. All of the pupils were a battery pack, which then powers an earpiece built into the helmet. The instructors as they're riding can talk to them, so drop your hands, just relax a little bit. To encompass all aspects of the training regime, John gives us an example of the exercise many jockeys must face if they are to make it to the top. And that's where you, you start to push it, get behind it, you're driving it. Great bit of kick, great training aid. Obviously these never get tired, whereas if you're on a real horse, they get tired. You can program this horse to hang, so as you see it's got lateral movement that way. If you hit it in the wrong place, it slows down because a whip is not used to make it go faster, it's meant to balance the horse and encourage it. After a good look around the college, where I even bump into old National Hunt warrior Our Vic, the tour makes its way to a proper racing yard, that of Julia Fielden, which is situated on the outskirts of Newmarket in Exning. Here, John offers a unique insight into the running of a successful racing and breeding operation and also explains more about the feeding process. And if you have a smell of that, that's impregnated with garlic. Garlic's <laughs> great for two things. One, it's great for blood circulation. But also, when horses eat this product, they get a slight tinge of garlic on them. So when they're out in the fields, flies hate garlic. So it's a natural way out in the fields of keeping the flies off them. This could be the derby winner coming up to you now. Now, don't you get cheeky, because we know how bold you are. Just watch his front legs. He does like clawing out with them a little bit. As a two-year-old, he's the second highest rated two-year-old in Europe. On to the Roly Mile race course, and here we get a much better understanding of the infamous Newmarket dip and the famous uphill finish that each horse must encounter in their pursuit for glory. Ah! 